Hey everyone, it's C4 Sages back again with another reaction video, and this one is a pretty big one. Uh, apparently, uh, a game I was talking about not too long ago that has been rumored for years. I mean, years. It's been rumored for so long, and apparently it showed up yesterday during the uh, PlayStation Showcase. I was not there yesterday on stream to react to it live, unfortunately. However, I've only heard about it, and it, I was trying my best not to get spoiled or or anything like that. But the news was just so big uh, that it just made it made its way uh, towards m my brain. But I haven't seen the trailer. I haven't seen anything. I don't know if there's gameplay. I don't know if it's just uh, like a teaser or anything like that. I'm curious if, you know, what a thrill. If that's going to come up at some point, that'd be pretty sick if that showed up too. Like if they were able to get that song, like get the license for that song. I guess it's, it's technically, it was technically made for the game. So I don't necessarily think they need that. But anyways, I, I, I want to see this thing. I want to be excited about it. What the heck? Like the solid well i guess it's not solid snake it, it what the hell does big boss uh aka uh naked snake uh look like uh enough talk i, I need to see this thing what why is everyone so excited i i need to see it all right here we go it's like two minutes long apparently not actual gameplay footage okay That looks like an ant. All right. There's some ants. J just from the just from the looks of this thing, <laughs> I would think that people were thinking it's maybe like bug snacks or. I don't know. You, 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 you can pretty much guess a lot of different things right now. Uh, oh, okay. That's, that gate was definitely a giveaway here. Are we going to see a crocodile? Are we going to see a snake? We're going to see a snake eating the bird. Oh, there it is. That's an anaconda. <laughs> and there's... There's a gator. Okay. Dude, is, is Snake just gonna like be there? No way, right? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> That's so quiet. <laughs> they actually put the song? Wow, that's so cool. Wow. Oh, yes. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid Triangle? Delta? Oh, it's, it's Delta. Gotcha. That's so cool that they got the so Wow! Wow, look at Big Boss, dude. Holy moly, he looks great. Um, Konami. Cool! Very cool! I'm watching it again! I'm gonna watch it again. Wow. Damn, that's crazy. And apparently there was, like, after this part, there was, like, um... Apparently, there's a collection coming out as well, which is like, and it's volume one, apparently. So it's going to be Metal Gear Solid one, two and three. And I'm really curious about that as well, because, you know, everybody was kind of speculating which game they were going to like remake. And uh, they went with this one and not Metal Gear Solid one, but. This one's called Metal Gear Solid Delta. So I'm really curious if this is like they're going to I'm wondering if like they're going to remake all of the games again or if it are they just going to remake this one? Right? 
Like they start with this one, and then they go to Metal Gear Solid. Which I guess which one would be next in line? Metal Gear Solid Five or Metal Gear Solid One or I don't know. It's weird. God, this is so cool. <laughs> Look at him, just like. Wow, this is the moment probably why I got so quiet or everyone was like, oh my god <laughs> They looks great That uh, this is a great trailer. Wow, what a great trailer what a thrill. Yes With darkness and silence through the night <laughs> it's gonna be so fun climbing up that tall ass ladder and hearing the just the lyrics I'm searching and it's gonna be great to coming to ps5 damn look at look at look wow dude i'll just say this it's it's really nice to see like solid snake or even if it's not really solid snake, it's just nice to see snake again. You know, it's nice to see him again. It's been so long at we, we haven't gotten a, a metal gear solid game since metal gear solid five. And I'm not counting, uh, the survivor game or whatever the hell that one's called that Konami thought was okay to put out. Um, but man, and I, and I still have some questions. Like there, there's still more investigating I need to do, but this is, this was a great trailer. All right. After doing some digging, after investigating a, a little bit on the, the internet site called Twitter, Metal Gear Solid MGN, the, this Twitter account that pretty much posts a bunch of stuff solely on Metal Gear. Apparently, Konami has already confirmed that the original voice cast is going to be is gonna it, they're they're bringing them back for Metal Gear Solid Delta. That is really really cool. That's important because again, and I said this during the uh, the video that I put out a few weeks ago. You can't have these characters without their like original voices. In my in my opinion, like. Like, I, you know, I, I can understand, like, if it's, like, a Batman character in, like, one of the Arkham games. And, like, obviously you want Kevin Conroy. But, you know, unfortunately, Kevin isn't with us anymore. So, how, you know, you're going to have to either try to find someone who can sort of do that role again. Or maybe they, they sort of do, like, their own version of it. But if this is, like, a re... Like, I, I, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like, well, then just don't do Batman again. <laughs> just leave Batman for, like, movies and stuff and, and cinema or whatever. Or I, I, I don't know. It's weird. I, I just think with Solid Snake, there, there's only really one person that can capture that character as far as the voice. And it's David Hayter. And, and that goes kind of the same for the other characters. I think some of the other characters for Metal Gear Solid 3, like... I don't even think you can replace them, like Vulcan or Ocelot or like, you know, the boss. Maybe you can replace some of them potentially, right? Like maybe, but you know, not Snake, man. Snake to me is like, you know, you get David Hayter back or you get the whole, just get the whole thing. Like just pay them, pay them, pay them, <laughs> like actually pay them. And, and because they, in my opinion, those voices are what made the games. Uh, so iconic outside of gameplay outside of the story outside of any of that stuff It's to me the the people who who played these characters There were the ones for me who, who made the game uh, Who made Metal Gear what Metal Gear essentially is and I know some people are like well, you know There's a lot of elements. It's not just the the voice acting right. It's the gameplay. It's the the innovation the 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 you know, Hideo's, Kojima's, you know, crazy way of, of making these games and all of these weird stuff that you might find in them and stuff. But I'm like, yeah, that's true. But Metal Gear Solid 1 was like the first game that had like really, really, really good as far as like a AAA game. So I'm pretty sure there was like some maybe lower budget uh, games at the time uh, that maybe had some really good voice acting. But as far as like a AAA game, uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 had like the best voice acting on the PlayStation I remember and uh, And we have to remember that Metal Gear is is a uh, It's a story first game and Gameplay kind of comes after right like Metal Gear has cutscenes and codec calls and all of this other stuff um, And then you play the game, right? It's not like a splinter cell where it's like 
you know, Sam is kind of talking through an earpiece, but he's like kind of playing the game or you're constantly playing the game. Uh, they kind of have, they have some cutscenes, but in Metal Gear, there's a lot of cutscenes, a lot of moments where you're like interacting with characters and stuff. But you know, the cool thing about Snake Eater is that this was, I think, outside of like uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 and, and Phantom Pain that had like the most mechanics from like the PS2 era, you know, even much less Metal Gear Solid 1. It was just a lot to do. And uh, yeah, man, I'm I'm just, I'm so thrilled that, that this is, that this is a thing. I wonder if there's like any images of this thing. Let me go look for that too. So I, I here's a here's another big thing that's a, a part of this entire Metal Gear shit the announcements and stuff. So Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume One, uh, it's been announced and apparently it's coming out in like around the fall, so like autumn, so like maybe like August, September, maybe maybe even November. No, that's not true. Autumn autumn of 2023 is like August, so maybe we're gonna see this thing in August. It's interesting so the origin of stealth action returns metal gear solid master collection volume one uh, unifies the beginning of metal gear uh gameplay experience in one single package uh, infantry enemy fortresses all over the globe complete your missions missions uh with stealth and experience with thrilly uh thrilling cinematic story of the metal gear series volume one lineup features the original titles and the beginning of the metal gear series series wow so this one it, here it's just metal gear solid one two and three but this one actually has metal gear and metal gear two solid snake that's really cool and then it has wow including vr missions and special missions cool uh this one's gonna feature the hd okay so this one is probably these two right here metal gear solid well sons of liberty and snake eater these are probably the ones that blue point made the ones that they uh, uh, remastered, uh, uh, apparently. I'm really curious which version of Metal Gear Solid this one is, right? Like, is this like the PS1 version or is this like a port of the PC version? So that's going to be really interesting. Um, this collection includes the classic versions of the games, complete with minimal edits to the copyrighted contents. Mmm, that's interesting very interesting um that's cool right like that is cool and the cool thing about this as well is that it says volume one meaning that metal gear solid 4 potentially has a chance to uh make a return to modern hardware and can finally be played outside of the ps3 which has been it's been literally like just stuck and on that system for years since basically it came out it's been on that system you cannot play metal i mean technically you can play metal gear solid 4 like via a stream right like you can play it i don't know if i don't know if playstation calls it playstation now i don't know if that's i haven't i haven't done that thing in a while but um so technically you can kind of play it on modern hardware if you want to it's just you're not you're not actually playing like the actual like the actual game if that makes sense you're playing like a stream version of it so you are playing it but you aren't playing it like it's it's not in your library and like you can just play it and so i'm really hoping like if there is a volume two are they gonna include metal gear solid 4 and what are they going to do about it? Like, how how is that going to work if, if a Volume 2 inevitably comes out? And to me, like, for, for Volume 2 to come out, Volume 1 has to sell really well, <laughs> I, I would think. And I don't know, man. I think people have been missing Metal Gear for so long that I think people might want to just get this again, right? Um, I don't know how many people still have their PlayStation 3s, uh, even much less a, a PS4 uh, and stuff like that. I'm not even sure if the... The HD collection came with, uh, was available on PS4. I can't remember. I think it was just on PS3, but, um, like, I saw my PS3. I occasionally play it here and there. But, um, I don't know, man. That's really cool. I like that it says Volume 1. And, you know, there's a chance for, like, P Peace Walker to come back. Uh, maybe some of the other obscure Metal Gear Solid games, like Metal Gear Acid, maybe. And maybe Metal Gear Solid 5, right? Like, Ground Zeroes and, um, Phantom Pain show up there, too. So that would be cool, man. That that would be really cool. 
Um, man, what what an exciting time to be a Metal Gear fan. I and again, you know, let's let's not get it too fully twisted. Um, there is still some some light concerns here, like. Uh, what, what's the game gonna play like? How's it going to look? I'm pretty sure it's gonna look fantastic. It's probably gonna look amazing. Um, and there's probably some images somewhere. I, I need to look for these images. All right, I was I was able to find some stuff uh, via IGN. Um, and uh, here here's some images. Obviously, we've seen that one. That's that's Naked Snake, uh, Big Boss. Event who be eventually becomes Big Boss. He, he he's not Big Boss until like no shit. Ah oh, man, it's been so long since I played Snake Eater. Anyways. So this is one of the this is what the environment is look looking like. There's one of the uh one of the soldiers. And I mean it looks cool, right? It looks <laughs> it it looks it looks like the jungle. That's that's for sure. That's super cool. There's a crocodile <laughs> or an alligator. I this is an alligator, not my bad. A crocodile has a has a sort of a, a wide um it has a wide like snout. Um, an alligator has like a thin one, so this isn't this is a gator. Ah, that that's that's I oh here here we go. This this little thing looks like snakes like pack backpack or something like that. Um, this is like the part where like he's talking to his you know he's talking to, um he's talking to his team, and I can't remember everyone's name from from the team, but uh this is where like he's learning about CQC not learning about CQC he's like demonstrating CQC and stuff like that. But I remember you have to like climb up this thing, go off to the side, grab this like little pack. I remember that. There's the bird again, the snake. Oh, that's it, huh? All right. I guess this is all we're seeing so far. Again, I am really curious, really, really curious when this thing is going to come out. Uh, I just need to see gameplay, right? I just want to see gameplay. I... And, and uh, apparently, apparently this is being made by like Konami. This is like a Konami digital entertainment game, right? We, a lot of us were thinking that this was potentially Blue Point, that they were working on this thing. But one thing that I, I, I guess I didn't fully realize or I guess even accept is that uh, Blue Point is owned by PlayStation. They're owned by Sony now. Like they are a Sony company. So it's going to be pretty weird that they, if, if they're working on like a third party game like Metal Gear, I thought that that connection would make sense, right? Since they technically did work on the HD collection um, of Metal Gear uh, with Peace uh, Peace Walker, M um, MGS2, and MGS3. Uh, I assume that's what they were going to be working on, but they might be working on something else. Uh, I'm not. I'm not really sure. So. I'm just really curious. What the hell does the game look like? Again, what does it play like? Uh, it's really cool that the original voice actors are making a comeback. I'm really excited that they're going to be reprising the roles and everything like that. And I'm just really excited. Like, I, I, I'm excited that it exists. I'm excited for Metal Gear fans. Uh, uh, I've been, I've always loved the Metal Gear Solid games. They've always... They, they, they've been a part of my video game journey, um, and, uh, I don't know, this is gonna be a great way to, uh, play the Metal Gear Solid games again, and to be honest with you, the last time I played the Metal Gear Solid games was for, like, a Metal Gear, like, uh, it was like a Metal Gear history stream, or legacy, if you wanna call it that, uh, where I played, uh, pretty much most of the Metal Gear games, uh, except, like, the classic ones, maybe this might be a great way. So I just go back to some of the classic ones and just see how they played and what, what those were like and stuff. So I don't know, man. Uh, this is this is crazy. And uh, yeah, it seems like this was like uh, also to say that I think this was like the only like really huge announcement <laughs> that uh, that showed up yesterday during the uh, PlayStation showcase. There wasn't any Bloodborne, unfortunately again uh, but uh apparently they showed some spider-man stuff which is really cool dragon's dogma 2 showed up there as well and there was some other stuff on street fighter so i'm gonna be putting out a lot of videos today <laughs> so please do look forward to that um and if you enjoy this reaction video please don't forget to leave a like let me know what are your thoughts on metal gear solid delta or metal gear solid 3 snake eater whatever you want to call it 
And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you've been enjoying the content. Uh, until next time, everyone. My name is C4Sages. Peace.